Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Joaquin Elizondo back here with Hollywood Editing Mentor over at uh, HollywoodEditingMentor.com. Uh, thanks for being here. This is uh, the first of many uh, instructional videos that I will be having on the website. Uh, you know, just to kind of give advice or answer any questions uh, that I've been getting on, on my on my you know recent meetings, and also maybe show you some 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 tips and tricks on Avid stuff like that. So gonna be doing a lot more of these soon um, but the first video that I wanted to do um, is to, to answer questions about um, the union because you know a lot of people have been asking me you know what is this union what, what is it all about how do I get in it and um, so I figured I just do a little video here to answer all those questions and, and, and give you an idea of the, the process and, and also just so you can see where to look for all this information. So we're going to be doing that today. Um, we're actually going to go online. I'm going to go on the website, click on a couple of things, show you where that information is at and, and just so you get an idea of what what is this union <laughs> and how do I get on it, right? Uh, so let's see. Let, let's go here uh, to Google and, you know, so, just so you know, um, it's the Motion Picture Editors Guild is, is the union that represents, uh, you know, thousands of editors, assistant editors, sound editors. Um, and, it's, and, and, and if you want to work in Hollywood films and TV shows, you're going to have to be in the union. I mean, like, the, the, pretty much all shows are, are, are uh, you know, are represented by the union. So it's important that you you know start that process uh, if 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 that's where you want to end up if you want to do that type of work. Okay, so basically, uh, like I said, it's a mo so we're gonna look for the Motion Picture Editors Guild, which is there, uh, and it's IATSE Local Seven Hundred. So if you hear like you know Local Seven Hundred, you're 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 gonna there are people talking about the Motion Picture Editors Guild or the union. That's that's you know, just so you you're familiar with those terms. Uh, and here at the website, um, which is editorsguild.com, uh, you have a bunch of you know uh, informative links, a lot of a lot of cool resources. There's even a section here wait called wages and contracts. You can look up all the contracts for different like types of productions and see like for example how much each position gets paid you know um you know uh, how many guaranteed hours you get um a lot of different things um so for example if i go to like production majors and a post-production major sorry and i should and i want to be and i'm an assistant editor well here you, you can see um for example like what the weekly rate is, you know, um, what your weekly guarantee is, the amount of hours that you're guaranteed per week, all this other stuff like first meal penalty. Um, and you can even like, you know, download or view the contract itself if you want to really get deep into it. Uh, so, you know, what kind of holidays because you, you do get paid for holidays. So all that information is there. If we go back here, we go to join. You have West Coast and East Coast. This is pretty much this, pretty much this LA or New York, um, depending where you're at or where you're going to be. So for example, like if you were, you're living right now in New York and you're moving to LA, I'll probably look in the West Coast, right, uh, section. So I'm in LA, so I'm gonna hit on West Coast. And okay, so here's the process. The first thing that you wanna do even before, well, before you can even join the actual union, is you want to, you need to get on the industry experience roster. And this roster is, is pretty much, uh, you know, a list of people who have met the guidelines to, to basically, you know, eventually join the union. So basically, if you get on the roster, that means that you can do union work. It does not mean... It does not mean you are in the union. It just means that you are eligible to do union work. And then after that, you can uh, pay your fee to, to actually join the union. But the first thing you want to do is get on the roster, the industry experience roster, also known as 
the roster, which is administered by the Contract Services Administration Trust Fund, which is normally call it a, is known as Contract Services. And they're pretty much the organization that, that you know, keeps track of this roster and they handle all the paperwork. Um, so you will, they'll do kind of all the administrative stuff to, to join the roster. Um, so, you know, as it says here, applying for a placement on the roster is separate and distinct process, is a separate and distinct process from applying for union membership. Additionally, placement on the roster does not automatically trigger union me membership or vice versa. Just remember that. All right, again, so uh, we got to look at our classification. Um, a very popular one is assistant editor. So we click on that. And then you, you, you'll get all the pretty much what you need to, to say if you want to join the roster as an assistant editor. Here it gives you all the information, all the stuff you need to be able to, to join as an assistant editor. The big one. Assistant editors must demonstrate 100 days of non-union work experience within the last two years prior to the date of application. So that means that if today I am applying uh, for to be on the roster as an assistant editor, I can look two back two years back in my career, my work experience, and use that uh, for as evidence or or or, support, or you know to to be placed on the the roster. And it's non-union work experience, so. What is what is the big question is like what is that work experience what what it, what qualifies? Well, we go back to to the second paragraph here and says all work experience must be like the work covered by the local seven hundred agreements or videotape supplemental agreement. The work must have been performed in the United States and or Puerto Rico. Documentaries must have been screened at a festival, television, or theater. So. What they're saying is that basically, it, whatever the anything that the that the union, the type of work that the union would cover, uh, that counts in the non-union world. That would count. Um, that would qualify you to join the roster. So, like, you know, a lot of people uh, work in reality shows that are non-union, um, but you can also be working like in commercials, in promos, marketing. Um, like it says here, documentaries, they just have to screen at a festival. You could even do um, indie films that are non-union, you know, and that have screened at a festival. Different things uh, qualify. And, and, and I, I got to point out that it doesn't only, also, it's not only like in LA. You could do, you know, you can work in wherever you're at, San Diego, New York, you know, Miami, and do, say, broadcast work. Say, I know a lot of people have worked in, like, local news um, or local TV stations doing, like, promos. And that stuff counts. But um, so it doesn't have to be here in L.A. Uh, only thing is, you, and we'll get to that, we'll get to contract services in a bit, but very important that you know that the, the, the work that you're doing qualifies for roster placement because the last thing you want is you, you work in something for you know 100 days and you realize oh man it doesn't count that would suck so just make sure that um whatever it is that you're working in counts for roster placement and i'll, and I'll get to that in a bit but um you know like for example here industrial films and educational films are not covered by these agreements and therefore cannot be used for placement on the industry experience roster. Uh, eligibility of subscription video on demand experience can vary. To verify whether or not your work experience qualifies, please contact a roster specialist at contract services. So there it is. If you wanna make sure that, that what you're working on counts, contact a roster specialist at contract services, and I'll get to that contract services website in a bit. It can get tricky when you are when you are um, talking about like any online digital work, that can get tricky. So again, and I'm in other things, right? But just make that you just got to make sure that, that what you're doing counts. Um, but here, you know, we go down the, the list. Here it says get your paperwork in order. Get your paperwork in order for contract services. You know, a letter from you're going to ask you for a letter from a non-union employer. So your your employer, you know, you ask for a letter. And, and that says that uh, you worked, say, 100 days um, as an assistant editor at 
a certain company. They just need something, a letter to confirm that you did the, the work. Um, you must also provide proof of payment for non-union work experience. So you have to show like a pay stub and just show that you were actually paid for this. Um, here's a, a, a good point here, interesting point. Payment can be no less than the California minimum wage. So like, that's where like, you know, it can get tricky. For example, if you're, you, well, if you did any free work, right? It probably wouldn't count. Or if you basically got paid less than the California minimum wage. So there's all these little things that, you, you know, you, you need to you know, be sure that you're, you're, you meet those, those guidelines. Um, so, yeah, you know, like check stub, W2-1099, any of that stuff is going to count for that. And then you submit that paperwork, the letter, and your pay stubs to uh, contract services. Um, eventually, yeah, there's, um, you know, you get to go to an orientation uh, at the union at Local 700, um, and then you go through the, eventually when you want to join the union, you pay your initiation and processing fees and, and you're good to go. Right. But the, the big one is, 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 um, the big one is of course the, the, the hours, the getting, or sorry, getting those days, um, just to make sure that you are, you know, are working in something that counts and then, uh, and then, uh, so yeah, just make sure of that, um, I'm now going to go over here back to our screen and I'm going to go now tier to, uh, let, me, let me go to the homepage, um, contract services, csatf.org, csatf.org. They, they, they handle the, the, the roster for the union. They, they manage that list and they manage the paperwork. If you go over here to rosters and lists, go to industry experience roster, and you will have more information uh, on how to join the roster. There's an application. There's a, a link here that shows you what the process is like. Um, you want to, you're interested in, indus in the industry experience roster. I mean, there's an actual application. You can fill that out. Um, so all kinds of information on here. But really, um, like I said, you want to make sure you call them. Actually, call them and they you know it could take some time it could take some time to to get through to someone um and also i gotta admit like even if you do get through to someone and you're not sure you got the right answer like call them again you know um just you know it, it can be <laughs> and trust me it can be an interesting process uh so <laughs> that's all i'll say about that just uh if you're unsure or you feel like you're not getting the right answer give them a call again talk to someone else um, but, but yeah, the, the most important thing is that, you know, you make sure that whatever you're working in counts, um, for, to get on the roster, right? So if you're right now at a, a you know, um, at a point where you're like just starting out and you're like, I need to go find, um, a job to get on the roster, a non-union job to get on the roster before you get on that job, just make sure that it, that it counts because, Again, it's like if, if you're there working for six months or whatever or 100 days and you realize it doesn't count, that, that's, that's really going to suck. So just make sure um, to, 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 to call contract services and um, make sure that the work you're doing uh, is eligible for the roster. One important note, one thing that a lot of people don't know is that you have 30 days after taking a union job Let's say you're not on the union, you're just on the roster. You have 30 days to join the union. But what if your job only lasts, let's say, three weeks? Well, it doesn't make sense to spend thousands of dollars to join the union at that moment because your, your job only lasts three weeks. So you can work for less than 30 days and not join the union. Once you work more than 30 days on a union job, then yes, you have to join the union. But if your gig lasts less than 30 days, I advise you to not yet join the union. Wait till you get that job that lasts over 30 days, that lasts, you know, months, you know, because it, you know, costs a couple grand to join. And so you don't want to just, you know, fork out that money if you're, you know, only going to work two, three weeks. 
Um, so just, yeah, just know that. That's a big one. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, so again, if you are get a union, union job and it only runs, say, less than 30 days, you do not have to join the union. Only join the union if your job, the union job that you got, lasts more than 30 days. Remember that. Okay, uh, I, I think you know. I think I, I covered the basics. That's the, the 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 process, and that's where you can find the information. Um, again, um, you know, Motion Picture Editors Guild is what's known as a union or Local Seven Hundred. Um, that's it right here. You can find it at editorsguild.com. Again, editorsguild.com. And then we go over here to uh, contract services. They, they, they manage the industry experience roster, otherwise known as the roster. And they can be found at csatf.org. All right. So there you go, folks. Uh, some good information. I hope that answered a lot of your questions. Um, if you still have more questions, uh, go to HollywoodEditingMentor.com. There's some information on there. Uh, you can reach out to me and uh, you know ask me questions directly. But uh, yeah, I hope that was helpful. Like I said, uh, you know, look out for some more informative videos coming soon. I'm gonna be doing some like little quick uh, avid tutorials and also give some advice and, and you know, send send me your questions um, and and you know answer them here. Uh, I just want people to learn. This is a good way to do it. I, I like doing these little videos. So, uh, yeah. Again, my name is Joaquin Elizondo, creator of Hollywood Editing Mentor. Uh, we found at HollywoodEditingMentor.com. Uh, thanks again. And, uh, yeah, check back soon for some more fun, informative videos. All right. Have a nice day. Take care.